In this exercise tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the Techno Gym Cross Trainer, otherwise known as the elliptical machine, in your gym. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't have a Techno Gym Cross Trainer, these all are very similar. The only thing that might be a little bit different is when I explain the touch screen interface later on in the video. So firstly, before I get into getting on and getting off the machine, you'll notice we've got a wide handle and a narrow handle. This is important because if we want to work arms as well as legs, we'll have the hands on the wide handle. If we just want to work the legs and we want to then be gripping in with the hands but not working them or moving them, then you're looking then at the narrow handle. Both of the handles have a part of silver on them and this is what picks up your heart rate. When coming onto the machine, let's say I'm getting on your side to the camera, I would always make sure that the side I'm coming on is lowest. So let's say for example, this side here where I am is highest. If I put my feet on there, it's all of a sudden gonna move and I don't want to fall or slip over when I'm getting onto the machine. So I'd come round to this side if I was getting on from this way, for example, and make sure it was the lowest and therefore it's not gonna move as I get on the machine. So I'm gonna come round. This is now set up. Both hands on the handles that I wanna use, and from here, now I can safely get onto the machine. When I'm now doing my revolutions, what I want you to notice is the whole of my foot is staying in contact with those bottom pads. So what I'm resting my foot on, I'm not coming up and down. I wanna make sure that I keep a flat surface of the foot on those pads. Otherwise, if I move too much, I don't wanna slip and for my foot to come off. Let's now go through the touchscreen interface. Here's the main screen of the Techno Gym Cross Trainer. So in the top left, you'll notice the login and you can log into the My Wellness Cloud. This enables you to be able to track your workouts and save them so you can go back and see your statistical data. Over here, we've got the start button, which is what most people will just generally click. This gives you all of your data in terms of statistics as you're cross training. We've got lots of options that we can toggle. So you can change the language, go on Facebook, play games, look at the weather, go to the radio. Also, you can go on the web and also onto TV and YouTube. If I click the outdoors tab, what you'll notice here is we've got lots of outdoor circuits. So as opposed to just looking at a screen, you might wanna actually use one of these circuits to make the time go by quicker. And therefore you can then do a circuit and try and better your time on that circuit as well by saving your workout stats. If I go back to the main screen, what most people will pick is they'll pick the start button. So if I pick the start button here, you'll notice we've got the time, the calories, distance, the amount of power we're generating in watts, your speed, also your heart rate, your effort level, which we can change up and down to make it harder or easier, and your moves. What I can do is I can stop by pressing the stop button, and at the end of the workout, it will come up with all of your statistics as well. If we go back onto the main screen, we've got one final part of the machine that we can access. We've also got three tabs on the main screen, which is exercise, goal in time. So you might just wanna click that, go onto a certain time that you wanna be on the cross trainer. And then from there, once you've done the time you've picked, it will then go straight into a cool down automatically. And then the machine will turn off. Otherwise, you can be more interactive and you can try cross training or hills. And if you pick one of those, for example, it'll come up with the amount of time you'd like to do, the effort level that you would like, and then from there, if you want more accurate data with regards to calories, you can put in your age and weight before clicking start. Once you're all done with your cross training, what you're going to do is you're going to slowly bring the machine to a stop, press the red stop button, two hands on the machine, and the foot furthest away from the floor will then come down before then bringing the foot nearest to the floor down. That's how to use the cross trainer or elliptical machine in your gym, specifically here looking at the Techno Gym machine.